What's happening guys and welcome to day 17 of the Borderlands 2 $100,000 loot hunt. Now Gearbox has made a brilliant decision today and put our daily target as a rare spawn. And when I say brilliant decision, I mean an awful decision because I have farmed this 10 times and he has not spawned yet. It's Donkey Mong and he's going to drop us a hive. And what's going on with uh, the hive today is all Maliwan uh, launchers have had their reload times decreased, increased, well they reload faster. And also their elemental effect chance is now higher. So he's supposed to spawn out in the Iridium Blight around where I am. He's supposed to spawn in this uh, this area right here, but unfortunately he has, he's just not doing it. He just doesn't, he doesn't even. He does not even. So we're gonna we're gonna keep taking a drive around to see if we can't find him elsewhere. I could have swore I've seen him over here, but it was probably King Mong. But we're gonna we're gonna go check it out. All right. So we have no Donkey Mong. Let's uh, let's reset and see if we can't get him again. I'm gonna keep you guys with me on this journey. So I don't know why Gearbox thought this was going to be a good idea to make a rare spawn drop the daily target or daily bounty, but um, but yeah, I think it was I think it was kind of a bullshit decision. Personally, who agrees? Talk through the internet and through time to me while I'm making this video and tell me whether or not you agree with this shit. And don't get him confused, 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 confused on a word. Don't get him confused with King Mong, who will spawn immediately on the right here too sometimes. Alright, so driving, 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 driving. No Donkey Mong, no Donkey Mong. Up, oh, up, oh, ah, ah, Donkey Mong. There we go. I seize ya. I can't unseize ya. Get some old slag on him. Get some slag on that bitch. Alright, so he's gonna drop our hive. Here is our hive. And then we're going to take this hive and we're going to go kill a lot of shit with it. Um, like I said, all Mali 1 launchers have had their reload speed uh, made a little bit quicker and they have their uh, elemental effect chance increased as well. So this means that the Norfleet got a buff. Good game, Gearbox. Alright guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check back each and every day for the daily target and daily bounty and tips and tricks on the community goal. I'll see you later.